In this video, we're going to be talking about grandparent visitation in Indiana and let you know when you would qualify for grandparent visitation, the process and how you obtain it, and what kind of rights you may have as a grandparent. So about me, my name is Nathan Vining. I'm a family law attorney here in Indiana and I've represented people in several grandparent visitation cases. By the end of this video, hopefully you know a little bit more. So ultimately, not everybody is eligible for a grandparent visitation. It's only allowed in certain circumstances. And the theory behind that is that a lot of times, if a married couple decides that they want to cut grandparents out and they don't want grandparents to have visitation, the state legislator ultimately respects that decision and doesn't give them the statutory right to seek grandparent visitation. But there are circumstances where there's a statute that enables grandparents to seek visitation. And one of the first ones is that there's a deceased parent Ultimately, if there's a deceased parent and those grandparents are being excluded from having access to the children or being able to visit the children, they may be able to petition for grandparent visitation. All other times, if there's been a dissolution or divorce that in the split family, if one side of the grandparents are being denied access to the children, they may be able to seek grandparent visitation. And that's the same for children born out of wedlock. If there's a split couple and paternity of the father has been established, grandparents can seek to establish some sort of grandparent visitation with the child. So it's important to know that it's not available in every circumstance, specifically if there's a married couple, but in certain circumstances, Indiana law does allow grandparent visitation. And what that visitation would be is dependent upon ultimately upon the court order, but it would be some court ordered right to see the children have access to your grandchildren. So Indiana Code 31751 is the grandparent visitation statute. And this basically sets out um, what we discussed previously. Ultimately, it gives grandparents the rights to seek visitation if the child's parents deceased, if the parent's marriage has been dissolved, or if there's a paternity case, the child was born out of wedlock, but paternity has been established for the child. Those are the three circumstances where a grandparent can seek visitation. And they would do that by ultimately um, working with an attorney and filing a new case, which would be a petition to establish grandparent visitation. It's also important to know that this can work for out-of-state custody cases. It can be a little bit more complicated because ultimately, maybe there's an old case from another state that hasn't been opened for some time. Indiana may be able to work with you in your situation despite the out-of-court case. It just depends on if Indiana would have the right to modify the decree here. So that's something you're going to want to talk to an attorney about, but it's important to know that whether uh, the case originated out of Indiana or in Indiana, this is something that you can pursue here in certain circumstances. Now, ultimately, what do the courts look at with grandparent visitation? There's quite a few factors, but this is basically the main thing in every family law case is the court is very interested in the best interest of the child. So the court's going to look at the best interest of the child when they're weighing in, a, in on a grandparent visitation case. And that's basically set out in, in Indiana code that the court will look to the best interest of the child in a grandparent visitation case. So best interest is uh, a vague term. It's something that you may not run into in your day-to-day -day life. But what I would present if I was in a grandparent visitation case would be quite a few different things. First, I would want to show that they are eligible grandparents, that you fit into one of those three categories that the state set out that you have to fit into to establish grandparent visitation. Second, I would want to tell the story about you and your grandchildren. I would want to show that there's been meaningful contact and evidence that you have a relationship with the children and that it's been there for some time. And I'd want to uh, be able to talk specifically about what that included, whether that be past vacations, weekly dinners, regular attendance to school events, things like that. I also want to talk about your relationship with the parents. Maybe there's something that occurred that can explain to the court why maybe you're being excluded access today. So we're going to want to understand those things to see how we can frame a best interest argument in, in a case like yours. The court also may uh, even look to a guardian ad litem and seek um, input from a third party, which would be the advocate for the child. Uh, the court also can um, do in-camera interviews and even get the child's input in a case like this. But typically in, in Indiana, the courts don't uh, typically interview child. The child won't be a witness. A lot of times that's just done through an end chambers meeting or a third party advocate that uh, speaks with the child and represents them on their behalf. But most of the time in a, in a grandparent visitation case, the, the evidence is going to be the story about you and your grandchildren as well as your relationship with them and their parents that led to you petitioning the court for grandparent visitation. It's important to know also, it's typically a unique schedule with grandparent visitation. Uh, in a lot of custody cases, people are typically familiar with uh, the Indiana Parenting Time Guidelines, and that's where 
a parent would have uh, visitation every other weekend. Uh, with grandparent visitation, it's not as frequent a visitation. Typically, a lot of times they would allow visitation on one weekend per month. For instance, the second weekend of every month, you would be, get to spend a day with your grandchildren. There can also be carve-outs for certain specific holidays, such as your birthday, or even time around Christmas and Thanksgiving and things like that, and even time around their major holidays, like the child's birthday. But it's it's very dependent on your unique situation. Every grandparent visitation order is typically different here in Indiana. But it's important to know that typically it's not as frequent as it would be for the non-custodial parent. But ultimately, if you have questions and are you looking to determine if you can actually petition for grandparent visitation, give me a call. I'd be happy to review your situation, talking about what evidence is present and see what we could do in your situation.